What's up, it's Andrew from Trail Runner Customs, and today we're going to be going over how to install the Sequoia TRD Pro Grill for 2001 to 2004 Sequoias. So this installation is actually quick and easy. The only tools you're going to need are a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a 10mm socket wrench. So now let's go ahead and get right into the install. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is pop the hood from the inside of the car, and then push the hood latch and raise your hood. Next we want to go ahead and take a look at the hood latch. Now notice how right here it connects to the grill itself and then in the other spot it connects straight to the hood. Now we only want to unscrew the part where it connects to the grill. As you can see here I'm taking my socket wrench. Those two screws right there are the ones you want to unscrew. Now once you have those unscrewed you want to pull the latch down and notice how the other part where it connects to the hood I did not mess with. You just want to leave the latch hanging there that way it will be easier for reinstallation. Just a reminder, you definitely want to hold on to any screws you take out during this install. Alright, so after the hood latch is off, you can then move to locate the six screws that hold the grill onto the hood itself. As you can see here, I'm just taking the flashlight and pointing out where these screws are. They're 10 millimeter screws, so you just want to grab your socket and unscrew each nut off the bolt. Once you have these off, you want to hold on to them for later. Once you have the nuts unscrewed, you are now ready to pull the grill off of the hood. So taking the grill off from the hood is really easy. All you need to do is lower it down a little bit and then pull straight out from the hood itself and the bolts on the grill will slide straight out from the hood and that's pretty much it. Now hold on to this grill because we are going to need some hardware from it for the new TRD Pro grill install. So now you want to take your Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the five Phillips head screws that run along the metal bracket across the bottom of the OEM grill. You need to remove this metal bracket in order to put it in the new grill. Once you have the screws out, you want to set them aside for later. You can then pull out the metal bracket and it should lift out pretty easily. After that, you can go ahead and grab your Trail Runner Customs TRD Pro Grill. Next, you want to grab your metal bracket and drop it right into the new grill with the metal lip on the upper side. It might take a little back and forth movement to line up the metal holes with the screw holes. Once you have the holes lined up, you can then grab your Phillips head screwdriver and replace all five of the screws from the old grill. You can then take your new bolts that come with your grill and go ahead and slide the top four bolts into the top four cutouts, just like so. Now for the side bolts, they are more meant for stability, so they're a little bit harder to get into the holes. You're probably going to have to use a pair of pliers to pop them into the hole. But once they're on, you are ready to install the TRD Pro Grill into your vehicle. So now comes the time to put the TRD Pro Grill back into the hood. Now what you want to do is just pull the hood down a little bit and line it up to make sure all of the bolts from the grill go into the hood. Now this may take a little bit of wiggling, but they all should drop in pretty easily. Now I had to go to the other side and make sure they were lined up here. But I kind of moved the grill around a little bit and then they dropped right in. Taking a look at the inside of the grill, as you can see, all the bolts are lined up into the holes and the grill is kind of holding itself up without the bolts on yet. You can now reattach the OEM nuts that came from the OEM grill. I would suggest hand tightening them up first and then once they're all kind of snug, you can go ahead and retighten them up with your socket. Now you can tighten them down pretty hard, but please do not over tighten them because it will strip the bolts in the grill. You are now ready to reattach the hood latch. As you can see, I'm taking the hood latch and putting it on the back side of the piece on the grill. Now you just want to take your same bolts and screw them in like you see on the screen. If you want to add your grill lights, you can at this time if you have not already. So after that, you are done with your Sequoia TRD Pro Grill install. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you want to pick up a TRD Pro Grill for your vehicle, Check out our website, the link is in the description.